Hi, I've recently been trying to find proper settings for my Dolphin Android emulator. So uh, there were a lot of tutorials showing me different kind of settings. So recently I just found a INI file that's the settings file for the Dolphin emulator in the XDA developers website. So I'm just gonna share that file with you and then show you how uh, the gameplay changed for me. So let's get started. So I have given a link in the description to the file. Uh, so it's basically this link. So you just have to click it and uh, the download will start automatically. So as you can see now, it's gonna start in any second now. All right, this, this is just taking some time. So it's gonna download anyway. So it's just gonna be in a RAR format. Uh, so you just have to extract it using any kind of extraction tool. So let me just show you the file. So here it is, it's Dolphin RAR. So I just have to extract the file and then you're just gonna have to save it to the Dolphin EMU and then config section. So there is already a Dolphin 90 here. So you just have to replace the new file with this. So yeah, once you're done, once you're done with this, uh, you're gonna start getting proper playable speeds in the Dolphin games. So I'm just gonna show you how it changed the gameplay for me. So let me just open up a game here. So this is Tatsunoko versus Capcom. So as you can see, I'm getting around 70 FPS for the loading screen. So, but that's gonna reduce further on. So just bear with me. Uh, but the sound is still not so good. Uh, there's still a lot of stuttering. So as you can hear that, so I'm just gonna reduce the volume a bit. So yeah, even the loading section I'm getting variable frame rates but it's still manageable. So I'm just gonna select a couple of characters here. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, but do remember there are some major frame frame drops. Uh, sometimes I just frame uh, the frames just drop to around 2 to 3 fps so that's still an issue but for most part of the games it is playable as you can see i'm getting around 31 fps now so just don't bother about the fps count so the gameplay will be uh pretty playable so as you can see now but the sound is still horrible so let me just mute that up for now. So as you can see, uh, the gameplay is quite fine. Uh, do forget about my, you know, playing ability here. So as you can see, once the game gets going, I mean, it's pretty playable. I mean, there are frame drops, but that's kind of manageable, I guess. At least compared to the speed I was getting earlier. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you for watching.